I think as a conductor, when I, when I finally got the opportunity to study these symphonies, I was just completely engaged and the pieces are so compelling and the story behind these symphonies, you know, the fact that Brahms, he tried to write a symphony but he couldn't do it for so many decades and, and the pressure that he was feeling and yet he comes to the first symphony, you know, just like a house on fire, bam, bam, bam. So for me, these symphonies, there are they're four different planets in the same universe and uh, the Requiem is just a natural outgrowth. To me, it's a, a symphonic Requiem more than anything else. I've had the great opportunity of performing Brahms Requiem several times. Uh, I try to program it with all of my orchestras. And it's a piece that, for me, really grows each time I do the work. So recording it after having performed it so many times felt just organic to me. You know, it, this is a piece that every time I conduct it, every time I he listen to it, I hear something new, I, I hear a color I never expected, and uh, I'm more admiring of Brahms' uh, artistry and genius. I think recording the Brahms Requiem is, it's challenging. I mean, recording is always challenging on a certain level, but to try to capture this amazing hybrid, it, it's, it, it is, of course, a, a piece for chorus, very, very much so, but it's also a piece about the orchestra, about orchestration. Klaus Heymann of Noxos Records had been speaking about doing a Brahms Requiem recording for many, many, many months, and actually it ended up being several years in the making. Uh, the most important element of a Brahms Requiem recording is the chorus. And we both wanted a chorus that, first of all, was native German speaking, but also could capture the colors of this piece. And the MDR Leipzig Choir, they have an amazing pianissimo, and their, their dynamic gradation is formidable. So that combined with the excellence of the orchestra and the acoustic and the venue, we just decided let's wait until we can make it happen there. I'm thrilled with the soloists that I have on this recording with um, the MDR Leipzig Orchestra. The, um, both are native German speakers and uh, they're both phenomenally gifted and, and incredibly young in their career still. So I think they bring a freshness to this piece that is really exceptional. Brahms has always held a very special place in my heart. Ever since I was a teenager, I think I was about 12 years old, and I was at a chamber music camp, and I heard a recording through one of the dormitory uh, closed doors. And I walked past the room and I walked back, and I thought, what is that music playing? And I remember sort of sinking down outside the closed door and just being so gripped by this music and, and moved. I think that's what it was. For me, this was my first experience being transported emotionally by music. And it ended up, of course, being Brahms. It was his B-flat string sextet. And that sense of emotional journey stayed with me my whole life. So Brahms has always been very important to me.